Hi there, this is Chris and this is my working Pip-Boy 3000. I created the basic model in SolidWorks and had it 3D printed through a service known as Shapeways. I made a video about this the other week and I'll put a link in the video somewhere around here and also in the description in case you want to take a closer look at that. Um, the model was printed in polymer. That's then been painted and then battered a little bit and a few little extra details like the radiation dial here and then a 3.5 inch LCD display inserted which is linked up to a Raspberry Pi which I'm using to program the interface. They're both then powered by a portable power supply. This is I think a 10,000 milliamp hours anchor power supply. Then I've also created working buttons which have been created through a Makey Makey PCB. Um, it's an interesting device that allows you to change any conductive surface into a button. I'll stick links to all of these in the descriptions in case you want to check them out for your own projects. The Makey Makey actually allows these metal buttons to be used as a touch interface to navigate the device. The interface itself I created in Game Maker. So it's a little flash application which just runs in the Raspberry Pi's web browser. It's a little bit slow because of this with the Raspberry Pi being quite a simple little computer but it does the job. As you can see, I've actually programmed in a few of the interface, like interface screens from the game itself, showing the different stats and perks and items you can carry. If you actually want to use the Pit Boy as a piece of cosplay things, these all need to be kept in an external little bag, which is what I used when I took these to. Eurogamer last year, just carried the external electronics in a bag and then routed these wires through the costume. So yeah, that's my working Pip-Boy 3000 model. I hope you found this interesting. Um, please give the video a like and share with your friends. Um, thanks for watching.